head facing this way, your right side mat. Feet planted flat on the mat and just rock yourself forward and back so you can kind of feel your spine. Just start some movement gently, allowing your neck, spine, your chin to rock back and forth. And even before we set our intention, act as if you're sifting through your body, your soul, your emotions, everything. Just let everything that you don't need right now sift through to the bottom, soak into the earth. You don't have to know what they are. You don't have to identify them. Just picture yourself, your body, one of those sifters that you just powdered sugar or flour through and just let everything settle that you don't need. Come into your breath. Start watching your belly rise and fall internally. Begin slowing your rock until you come to a stillness on your mat. Place hands on belly, right on your belly button. Third chakra, feel the fire. If you don't feel the fire, create one inside of yourself. Your ego, the place that we understand and digest dualities, digest life. And it's a lot right now, a lot's happening. Push in your belly slightly with your hands so that when you take a breath, you have to work a little harder to push your belly out. This is our center of ego, of identity. All the good, bad, and medium that comes with being an individual, the boxes we put ourselves in, and the boxes we choose to take ourselves out of. All these beautiful choices. Ease up on your hands so your belly is breathing fully and freely watching the fire in your belly grow and support you in your efforts for this 60 minute practice. Work hard when you can, rest when you need, always take modifications. Bring your hands to heart center prayer position, elbows off the mat, set your intention now if you have one. If you don't have one, you can join us this COVID is really hard on everyone. Obviously, we send our hearts out to everyone who's hurting and sick, but also to the people who are trying to do regular life and make decisions and the uncertainty is quite overwhelming. Day-to-day -day roller coasters. Somehow we honor each and every one of the humans and people who are affected from right here on our map. One collective breath together. Push all the air out of your body, right from the center of your core, all the way out. Inhale, deep breath in through your nose. Fill your whole body up. A little more, and then exhale. Drop your hands down by your side. Flutter your eyes open. Move your body to the left side of your mat, all the way over, just so your left side's almost off the mat. Feet flat on your mat. Bring your left knee into chest. Roll it around. Let it fall to the side. You can hold it. And then straighten right leg all the way. Feel that lengthen in fascia. Right arm overhead. And reach like you're yawning with that whole right side body. Feel your air. Right hand to right hip, just rest it down. Right leg straight to the sky up above you. Set it back down on the mat. Left foot flexes, crosses over right knee, figure four. Bring right foot off the mat, reach through your legs, grab right knee and stretch left hip. You can find stillness, you can rock it around. Keeping with this fire in your belly, your motivation. 
your determination. It can be a gentle one. Right foot goes to the mat. Don't change anything about the posture of your feet. Now your left foot is gonna go to the mat. So glue your ankle and your knee and just take left foot to the mat. Flat, flat, and then your left knee is going towards the ceiling. You should feel a stretch in left hip. You can pull your left foot in a little. Do what you need to feel this. Opening up. We're gonna go into that banana shape. So straighten right leg towards the right bottom corner of your mat. Then straighten your left leg over it. You should be in this kind of banana shape. Then take your upper body and complete the banana up and over to the right side. And at first you might not feel much. Try to let left side body sink into the mat. Maybe bending left arm if that helps feel a little more. As if you could only breathe into left side body, fill it up. And then gently come out of that, both feet flat on the mat. Rock it out. Release your jaw, shake your hands. Let it go. Move your body over to right side mat, all the way over, all the way over, right knee into chest, roll it around. Let right knee fall open to the side. You can hold on to it, keep a hold of it. Left leg straight, left arm straight, reach, yawn, expand, left side body. Left hand back down to hip. Left leg goes straight to the sky. Use those abs and then bend it, foot flat on the mat. Right leg flexes, figure four over left knee. Reach through, grab left knee, pull it in. Again, stillness or rocking. Allowing your hips to settle into themselves. Exhale as your left foot hits the mat. Glue this shape completely. Right sole of the foot goes down to the mat. You can adjust torso if needed. You can pull right foot in if needed. And take your right knee towards your left heel. In theory, and energy to kind of pull it away. Feeling that figure four stretch. Good. Straighten left leg towards left side mat, then extend right, going into this banana shape to stretch right side body. Arms overhead, curving to the left. And breathe fully into right side body. Try to relax as much as you can down into the mat. Even though you're not moving, can you feel the same sifting happening? The lightness rises to the top and the heaviness that you don't need sifts down into the ground. Breath supporting it. On your next exhale, come back to a neutral feet flat. Body in the center. Both knees in. Do a small rock. Hips off the mat until you come up to sitting. Good. Face me. Right foot in front, Sukhasana, easy pose. Gently walk yourself forward, maybe down to your elbows, maybe just bowing your head. One more hip opener. Feel your breath here. Exhale, bringing yourself back up, left hand out, right arm to the sky, up and over. Right hand to the back of your head, and then open your shoulder, open your elbow back. And then see how much you can relax your torso as you open and expand. Coming back up to neutral, switch legs, 
left leg is in front, walk it forward. If your knees hurt in this, obviously no need to do it. Use any kind of modification. And wherever you are, tuck your chin and look at your belly and watch it expand. Walk yourself back up, reminding yourself the gratitude that that belly deserves. Right hand over left hand up, lateral stretch. Inhale to reach left hand away from you. Exhale, hand behind the head. Relax left hip, open left elbow. Shoulder away from ear. Good. Coming back up to a neutral position. Both fingertips on the ground. Let it pull your spine longer. And then drop chin and do small head rolls at the speed that feels good, at the extent that feels good. No need to push, Just kind of waking up cervical spine. Good. Make your way to a tabletop position facing this way, your right side mat. Once you're there, check that all 10 fingers are spread really wide. Drop your belly, open your chin, fill with air. Exhale, belly button in, up. Open, and let your belly spill forward. And then take control of that belly, pull it up and in, let it support you. Your next breath brings you to a neutral spine. Mirror and me, your left leg comes straight out to the side, sole of your feet flat, foot flush. Left arm up. Exhale, send it through underneath and let it go. Obviously okay to be higher up with support of your left. Let your belly support you here. Reach back up to the sky. Place your hand on the mat. Engage your core deeply. And then lift your outside leg up. Hold, 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 hold. Good, send it back. Keep it off the ground, off the ground, off the ground. Toes flexed, facing towards your nose. Bend your knee. Opposite arm comes off the mat and then reaches back to grab foot. Kick, kick, kick. Maybe opening chest and chin, pushing down into that supporting elbow, pushing out of shoulder and then gently let it get back down. Tuck toes, downward dog. Easy here, no need to straighten your knees. Just kind of pedal it out just for a break. Knees down, tuck chin. Hold here in this curved position, chin in, belly button to the sky. Feel how it feels to take a breath here, contracted. And then let it go back to neutral spine. Left leg out, whichever leg you did not do. Same arm as the leg reaches towards the sky. Exhale, weave it underneath, set shoulder down. Notice where you feel this stretch. See if you can take your spine even longer than it is and then slightly towards the ground, even just energetically. Good. Push into grounding palm, reach back up to the sky. Expand ribs, place hand down, push deeply. Leg comes off the mat. Push out of your shoulders, push, push, push. 
extend leg to the back, engaging your core for support, toes flex, bending, and then reach back gently and slowly to see if you can grab that leg, kick into it, maybe look forward, maybe look up, for sure push out of shoulder, both shoulders. Gently set it back down. Tuck toes, downward dog. Walk it out. Look forward and make sure that your forefingers are facing forward. Your shoulders are rotated out away from each other. Bend your knees, send your bottom towards the ceiling. Knit your rib cage together, relax neck. Take your shoulders away from your ears and then slowly send your heels towards the mat, even just a bit. Look towards the front of your mat, bend your knees, we're gonna do a few donkey kicks. So literally just bend and kick your bottom. Engage in your core, pushing away from your shoulders. So as though you could get away outside of your shoulders. Maybe fast, maybe slow, take two or three more. Building heat. Good. And then let it settle. All together, left leg back, kicking towards back wall, flex toes long, reach out of your heel even more and then send it towards the sky, open it up, bend it. Do what feels good to your body today. Good. One more reach up and back. Send the left leg in between hands. Keep back knee up. Left arm to the sky. Twist. Left hand down. Right knee down. Straighten left leg. Ardha Hanuman. Always option to stay up on fingertips or blocks. Option to flex or keep left foot pointed. Pour your weight back into left foot. Right knee comes off the mat. Tent up onto your fingertips. Take them off the mat just for a second. Check in with your core. Set them back down. Three-legged dog, left leg up to the sky. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, knee to nose, forward plank. Send it up, three-legged dog. Nice work, two more. Knee to nose, weight goes forward, shoulder over wrists, up and back. Last one, knee in, hold it. Core in, 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 up and back, three-legged dog. One last time, step it through, left foot in. Now we just did this, tenting up onto the fingertips, hands come to hips. Power lunge, long line from the core of your head down through your foot. We're gonna step forward into a chair. You can do it. Right leg comes in and go. Woo. Good, and you're there. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, right away, lengthen that spine. Exhale, forward fold. Let go of your neck. Tuck chin, roll up all the way. Slight bend in knees. And you're there. Right knee comes up. Feel the support. And then figure four. Right knee crosses over. So you stay where you are so you can see what this looks like. Just a simple figure four. You can stay here. You can come down. If you want to put hands down, you can. Version that works best for your body. Option for blocks here. Or if you're at home, you can hold the cat. Keeble.
Wherever you are, exhale all your air out. Inhale, fresh breath to come up. Replace back down into your forward fold. Step back into an upward push-up plank. Always option for knee down. Inhale, push the mat away as you can get further. Exhale, halfway down, elbows into ribs. Inhale, crown forward, upward dog. So much push that your uh, thighs come off the mat. Tuck toes, downward dog. Right leg off the mat, kicking towards the back wall. Kick away, away, away. And then maybe it goes higher, higher. Opening up, bending, circling, whatever your body needs. Send it up and back and away. Right foot in between hands. Right arm up, twist. Just create more space in between your heart cavity. So your shoulders reach away. Right hand down, left knee down. Straighten right leg, Ardha Hanuman, half split. Always option to flex or point. Keep this left hip pulling forward in space to keep your hips square. Pour your weight back into right leg. Tuck toes. Left knee off. Let's support ourselves in this position. Just take your hands off the mat for a second. Place them back down. Three-legged dog. Right leg shoots back. And wherever you are, take a deep inhale to reach right leg away. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring your weight forward. Up and back. Related dog. Exhale, all the air out. Knee to nose. Forward. Pull it in. Pull it in. Three-legged dog. Up and back. Last one. Bring it in. Knee to nose. Hold it. Push away from the mat. Up and back. Good. And then right foot steps in between hands. Power lunge, tense up on your fingertips, and engage your core. Inner thighs squeeze together, hands to hips. One long line, pushing deeply into the mat. Make sure knees are over ankles, over toes. Pushing forward, chair. Good, smooth transition. Let it go, forward fold. Shake your head. Inhale, halfway lift, push on your shins or thighs to create space in your torso. Let it go, forward fold. Bend knees, tuck chin, roll up slowly. And there you are. Left knee comes in the chest, push down into right leg. Flexing left foot, cross over, figure four. Take your variation here. This is hard because it's balance and stretch. Coming back up, chair forward, fold. Take a deep breath, and then we'll let it all go, all the air, maybe shake it, maybe wave back and forth. Inhale, halfway lift, all the way up, up, up. Right knee comes in. Push down into left foot. Step back into that power lunge. Right leg goes back and you're there. Good. Left arm drops down. Open warrior two. Big sweeping motion. Sit down a little lower. Reach a little further. Relax between your eyebrows. Rely on that 
Strengthen your belly to hold you here. Right arm down, left arm up, side angle. Low lunge, place both hands down onto the mat. Take a couple breaths here, and then you're gonna push your weight forward. Wobbly chair, so right knee comes in to left, right toes come down, and you're there. Hands to hips, long spine. Sit down a little further, biceps by ears. Good. Sit down a little lower. Forward fold, keep your legs where they are. Right leg comes off the mat, bending knee. Left hand grabs right foot. Right knee goes out and away, maybe towards the back wall, maybe towards the ceiling. Always option to keep the left leg straight or bent. Left hand goes to mat, standing split, kick that right leg up, up, up. And then point it and reach so far back Low lunge, right where you came from. Nice work. Upper push-up plank. Push away from the mat. Exhale, lower down. Reach forward. Arch. Push into the mat. Tuck toes, downward dog. Tuck knees, child's pose. Check in with your breath. Check in with your intention. Check in with your belly. One last time, fill your air with breath. Let it all go. Tabletop position. Tuck your toes, downward dog. Hop or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Push into your thighs wherever you are so you create space in your lower back. Biceps by ears. Squeeze your inner thighs. Come all the way up. Arms down, palms forward. Open your chest forward, shoulders back. Coming back to neutral, left knee up into chest. Send it back, power lunge. Left heels up, just like a high heel. One long diagonal line. Left arm drops down, warrior two, swing it all the way. Sitting down lower, right knee over right toes, long, reaching away. Right arm down, side angle. You'd like to extend the left arm overhead, bicep by ear. Both hands down either side of your foot. Left heel comes off the mat. Kick forward, wobbly chair, left knee behind the right. Like you're on a tightrope here. Sit down, hands to hips, engage your belly. Sit down a little more, biceps by ears, shoulders away from ears. Looking out and away, sit down a little more. 
One more deep breath. Exhale forward, fold, keep your legs here. Check in with your neck spine that it's relaxed, it's not doing more work than it needs. Shift weight forward, left knee off the mat, grab it with right arm. Any amount, take left knee away from right knee, maybe towards the back wall, maybe towards the ceiling. Always option to keep right leg straight or bent. Keeping with your breath. Right hand to the mat, kick left leg straight and long. Standing split. This is hard, this is a lot. Check in with yourself, how are you handling it? And then point your toe, reach so far you land in a low lunge. You're there, good. Step back, downward dog. Push into all 10 knuckles evenly. Rotate those elbows and shoulders away. Knit ribs together. Inhale, heels off the mat. Belly button to the sky. Pull your weight forward, plank. Push, downward dog. Heels up, belly button to the sky. Rock your weight forward. Plank position, push away from the mat. Push your hips back down and up, down and down. One more, just like that. Heels up, belly button, rock your weight forward, shoulders over wrists, and then push it back. Nice work. Look towards the front of your mat, hop or step forward, fold. Hang heavy. Clasp your hands behind your back at your lower back. Punch it towards the ceiling and then maybe they go forward for a shoulder stretch. Bending your knees, relaxing hips. Hands to lower back and gently release them. Halfway lift. Keep going up. This time, listen carefully, your left leg is going to come up, so I'm gonna mirror you. Left knee up and in. Send it back for a warrior three. Hands can be wherever you want them to be. Hands at hips are a good option. Warrior three, your whole body's parallel to the ground. You can hold it. You can hold it. Reach all the way back, low lunge, hands to the ground, foot back. Good. Right back up, power lunge. This time biceps by the ears. One long line. Warrior two, up, open, facing me. Reaching out and away. Right hand down, side angle. If you'd like to go into a half moon from here, you can. You can just launch yourself forward. If you'd like to be talked through it, right hand comes to the outside of right foot, bring left foot in and then kick up. Always option to keep bottom leg bent. Inhale, reach away. If your hand is not on the mat, make sure it's on the mat. Engage your core. Bend left leg and see if you can grab that left leg with left foot and then kick. Forward fold. Release. Left leg goes back, left knee behind, right knee, wobbly chair. 
right away biceps by your ears. If you need them on your waist, absolutely an option. Sometimes that's helpful with bound. Forward fold, straight to standing split, left leg goes into the sky. Good. One more deep breath here. Point your left toe, reach it so far back. Low lunge all the way down. Rotate to face me, so pick both heels up and then left heel comes down. Any version of this is fine as long as your right knee is over your right toes. Good, yes, always an option to take any, any sort of elbow on this knee to keep it back. And then plant both hands and slowly start oscillating between side to side. It can be very small like this. It can be big all the way to the other side. Good. And then we're going to end in the center. So both knees are going to be bent. Bring your knees to your elbows or option for hands. Sorry. Then always option for your hands to your knees as well. Bring your elbows to your knees, maybe not your knees to your elbows. <laughs> Plant your hands, straighten your knees any amount. Bring your feet forward so that they're not, nothing's happening, um, tweaking in your knee. Maybe you straighten them all the way, maybe not. Whatever feels good for your body today. Let go of your neck. And then do plant your palms and make sure your toes are facing front. So lift your toes up, straight forward. Knees can absolutely be bent. Inhale, halfway lift. Strong, long spine all the way up. All the way up. Good. Go to the left side mat. Inhale, right knee up into chest, pushing down into the left foot. Warrior three, you're gonna send right leg back, flat, parallel to the ground. Tell yourself you can do it, and you'll stay a lot longer. Belly in, support yourself with a long spine. Right hip towards the ground in theory. Flexing both feet for strength. Low lunge all the way down. Good. Right back up to a power lunge. Biceps by your ears. Reach away. Belly in. Push into left foot. So strong. Warrior two. Right arm opens back. Sit low. Good. Inhale deeply. Part your lips. Let it out. Your shoulders. Rinse down your back. Good. Left hand down, side angle. Maybe bicep by ear for a little bit more. And then when you're ready, go into a half moon. If you'd like to go with us, left hand comes outside left foot. Take your right arm either to the hip or straight up and then kick forward and up. Gentle and easy, don't push it. Engage your core more than you think. If you fall forward, it's a lot easier to catch yourself than if you fall back. Stretch your right heel away from you. Tent up onto the left fingertips so you take as much weight out as your hand as you can. Bend right leg, grab right leg, your hand, and then kick. Any amount, okay to fall out, okay to wobble, means you're building muscle. Keep your breath steady, steady, and then come into a forward fold, slow and gentle. There you are. Good. Shake your knees out. Good work, everyone. Right knee goes to the back of your left knee. Wobbly chair. Up on your right heel like you're in a high heel. 
You engage your core deeply, biceps by your ears. Yes, nice work. And then calm your spirit, calm your heartbeat, shoulders rinse down, set a little lower. Really nice work. One more long inhale, lengthen spine, engage belly, forward fold. Send right leg up, standing split. Relax your neck any amount. Point right foot, low lunge. Reach long and back. Nice work. Face me, the side low lunge. Let it feel good, whatever that means to you. Feel free to use a knee, an elbow to keep your knee back. Always protecting your knee. And then gently and slowly start oscillating from side to side. It doesn't have to be extreme. It can be really small here. And then meet in the middle. Toes towards the front corners of your mat. Elbows to knees or hands to knees, whatever feels good for you. If your elbows are on your knees, make sure your core is engaged. Hands off, hands up. Jazz hands, shake them. Good. Sit a little lower. Belly in, pelvis tucked under. One last breath here, reaching out, out, star. Straighten everything. And then let everything go. Good, nice breath. Toes facing forward, arms out, palms forward, reach your chest forward, hands back. Exhale, bend knees, tuck chin, fingertips touch. Inhale, long, open. Belly open, exhale, fingertips in. One last reach out, out, belly in, exhale, curve. Reach arms out, left arm down, right arm up. Easy side stretch. Bolstering here on your thigh and then reverse that over to the right. Breathing all the way up. So we're going to do one exercise in imagining yourself doing exactly what you want. So you're going to stand here in this wide second. If you're dizzy or something, don't close your eyes or you can do this. Make sure that you're giving yourself the benefit of the doubt in this, okay? So when you close your eyes and imagine yourself, don't move, just imagine yourself going up and over into a balancing half moon right away. Very calmly, you take a deep breath and you go over to the right onto your right standing leg and you're in this long, expansive half moon balance, steady breath, calm spirit, and then you gently come back to this wide legged position. Feeling strong, you go to the left, inhaling with all of the steadiness and go over to the left side, standing leg, perfectly there, perfectly balanced, maybe a little wobble, but you control it, and then you come back. Open your eyes. Right toes turn out. You're going to bend your knee, and you're just going to slightly and gently launch forward into this half moon. You can stay longer than you think, okay? So just do it just the way you just visualized, and go. There's no destination. Calm steadiness is the destination. And when you're ready, come back to that wide-legged position smoothly and calmly. Good. Better, right? Left toes open. Arms out for steadiness. Push when you're ready. Half moon on the other side. 
Reaching out, equal energy from all your fingertips, toes, head. Calm, steady breath. Honesty in your mentality. Trust in yourself. And then gently, when you're ready, make your way back. Calmly. Good. Nice work. Facing right side mat. Last one, last big pose for our class, bow. If bow is hard for you, it's hard for everyone. So just try to know, try to visualize what you did before. Okay? So left heel pops out. Actually, let's do it together. So I'll do my left leg with you. Left leg pops out, up. Left thumb to the sky behind you. Grab the inside arch. And then this should be happening. Pull it together. Support. Right away. If you can put your arm above your head without this happening again, try that. Always option to come out at any amount. If it's up, reach up, 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 and then kick. First you kick into this hand and go forward. You only go forward because you're kicking so much. And imagine yourself staying for 100 years and staying calm for 100 years. And then gently coming back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Go ahead, shake it out. Really quick, close your eyes and imagine yourself going into the other side. And you're there perfectly calm, and then you come down. Just like that. Right heel up, right thumb back and up. Knee comes up, grab the inside of right foot. Left arm up if you can, belly in for sure, for support, and then kick into right hand. Only when you have to go forward, you start pitching forward. I have a hard time with this one because I'm a dancer and I always turn out my leg, but I'm working on it. So if you can, keep this back leg completely parallel. Reaching, breathing, and then gently and slowly coming back up with control. With control, shake it out. Walk to the front of your mat, tuck your chin and roll down slowly, vertebra by vertebra, letting everything melt down and out. Bent knees, heavy head, heavy shoulder. Step back to an upper push up plank last flow for this day so we're going to hold this a little longer shoulders away from your ears send your heart towards the front of your mat belly button in stay always option to put knees down inhale push the mat away exhale lower down halfway elbows in inhale crown forward upward dog Stay an extra breath here, opening front side body, engaging your core. Shoulders down, tuck toes, down the dog. Send your right leg forward for a pigeon. Technically, the full um, posture is this front leg in a 90 degree angle. If you can't do that, it's okay. Just make sure that your right knee is outside of your right shoulder and you can feel free to bring that right heel in. Top of your foot's pushing onto the mat. And then gently fold forward any amount. And as we find stillness and let our entire body soak into the ground, can you visualize that sifting again? Throw everything in, your emotions, your physicality, your sore muscles, your doubts, your mentality of how you want things to be. 
go in your dreams and your spirituality and just start sifting without expecting an outcome. Just let it all settle. Trust that the bad will be sifted out and the good will be lifted up. Because there's sometimes there's nothing else for us to do but just wait. And in moments like this, instead of having a motivation and determination in our belly to get us somewhere, that motivation and determination settles within us to support our intuition, our heart, our rootedness. Two more breaths here. And when you're ready, gently pull your body up. And in the way that feels good to you, switch to the other side. I like going through a flow again. Of course, option to do down dog. Or just switch. Left leg comes forward, left knee outside of left shoulder. Always protecting me first. Allowing yourself to find a place that you can be still. And then how quickly can you go inside and honor all the parts of you equally? Honor the firefighter that's trying to keep you safe. Honor the voice of reason. Honor the risk taker. Honor the child who just wants to have fun. Honor the lover who wants to love. And the feeler who wants to feel. Insert your emotion, your need. Release your jaw, and your shoulder blades, and your toes, and deep inside your hips. Let go of your belly, your ears, your eyebrows. Take two honest breaths with all of this melting into the ground, trusting the sift. Gently make your way up. Sitting on to your bottom, swing your legs around. Flex your feet and grab onto your toes. And just relax forward for a second. Inhale, lengthen your spine as long as it can go flat and straight. And then start walking your butt back. Right cheek, left cheek. And get as straight as you feel comfortable right now. Keeping a long, strong spine. Maybe go a little further. Stop where you need for your body today. It could be different tomorrow. Maybe it was different yesterday. And pull the crown of your head out out, out, and then when you've had enough, relax over, you can curve your spine, let it feel good. Feel your belly push against your thighs. And then tuck chin, roll yourself up to a seated position, seated position. Feet flat bottom on the mat, 
hands on front of knees, curve your spine and sit back. Maybe you want to go under here if it's easier. But then once again, lengthen your spine in this position in this V so much that your feet kind of come up, you're rocking. Lengthen spine, boat pose with a long extended spine, chest towards the sky. So you're not here, you're open. Right knee, or sorry, right heel goes down to the mat. And back up. Left down to the mat. Back up. Belly in even more for support. Right down. And up. Left down. And up. Heart towards the sky. Right down. And up. Last one. Left down. And up. Both feet down. Curved spine. Five counts all the way down. Four. Three. Two, one, you're there. Right knee into the chest, straight leg on bottom. And then curve it over, twisting to left. Easy as you wish. No need to push, just wring out your spine a bit. Belly button to mat, pull the knee in. Switch knees, right leg straight, left knee in. And then up and over to the right, twisting gently. Maybe opening left elbow, left pec. Belly button to mat. Bring both knees in. Roll it around. Lower back. Pull your knees in. And then Shavasana. Palms up. Eyes closed. Sift into the ground. Staying here if you're able, you don't have to run off anywhere. Thanks guys so much. Check in with your intention, hands, heart, center. Let it sift out and down the things you don't need. Stay here as long as you can. Thank you, thank you.